It's cold out, it's snowing out, we're in the mountains, and we're sleeping under a rock tonight. Let's get after it. Hey everyone, Jeff here with Quick Overnight Camp, coming to you from north central Wyoming. This evening we're going to head up the Tongue River Trail. It's a trail that um, starts at the base of the Big Horn Mountains. We're going to hike up there about a mile. There's a, a rock shelter that we're going to throw a cot underneath and try to spend the night there. Um, I'm hoping it's going to take keep us out of the snow because it is currently snowing right now and it's kind of supposed to be snowing on and off most of the night. Uh, temperature is supposed to be a low of 27 so it shouldn't be horrible out there. I've got my gear, got a backpack, everything in it that I need and then a couple luxuries also. No Bruce with me tonight. I just didn't want to take him because I don't have a tent tonight and uh, he'd get wet on the way up to the campsite and I don't want him out in the cold when he's wet. Um, so no Bruce tonight. got to the trailhead and it's uh, snowing pretty good I guess makes things a little more interesting get my gear on here This is about a quarter mile in on our hike. And um, there's a bridge that goes across the Tongue River. If you watched my first video, this is the river we camped by just downstream a ways. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, stunning. Yeah, so a quarter mile in. Tongue River Canyon, trail number two. We've got about a half a mile, three quarters of a mile left, and we're gonna to come to our campsite. Look at this beauty. The beauty of the bighorns, we call it. It's gorgeous. Trail starts right on the Tongue River, but as we go up, we get farther and farther above it so it gets further away Here we are. Look at this. That's gonna work. So we're still on the same trail. The river is still down there. And right over here is our camp spot. The river actually echoes off of this big rock. Sounds like there's a waterfall over here. So how's this? Not a bad view to spend the evening looking at. Gorgeous. So we got some dry ground to camp on. We can make this work. We already got a pretty good firing. It's certainly been used before. Hasn't been used this year, however. Looks like I'm the first one up here. We added a few more rocks to it, but I think we're good. I don't think we have to worry about a forest fire tonight, anyhow. Maybe, maybe some of you were asking yourselves, 
Hey, Bonehead, why did you pack such a large duffel bag up in addition to the heavy backpack you had on? Well, I've got a good answer for that. Because I knew when I was going to come up here, I knew that there's no firewood up here. Uh, except for some bushes. I think they call that mahogany brush or mountain mahogany, I think they call it. Um, I knew there wasn't going to be any firewood up here. Um, you have to go quite a bit farther up to find some good firewood. And if there was going to be any, it's going to be wet. So I didn't want to mess with that. So I packed up a duffel bag full of nice, dry, split pine wood. We're going to, of course, obviously, fire right there. Brought my little chair up as well. I think we're going to put the uh, pot right here. It's not too, a little bit of an incline, but it won't be too bad. And it's kind of close to the fire, if I even have a fire left when it's time to hit the, hit the sack. But it's a nice little spot for a quick overnight camp. So, so what's in the backpack? Well, first of all, I'm carrying an Osprey. What the heck is this? 50, 50 liter. I bought a few, few, few years back and I don't think you can beat an Osprey as far as hiking backpacks go. They're so comfortable. They uh, really know what they're doing there at Osprey. So I packed this up. Uh, looks like a lot, a lot for a quick overnight camp, but I actually have an entire cot inside of this thing. And if you watched my first video, you saw my cot. <clears throat> kind of sticks out the top a little bit, but hey, I don't like sleeping on the ground. So, got the jet boil. That's what we're cooking tonight. We're gonna make up a uh, freeze-dried meal. We're gonna have some chili, chili mac tonight. So we got the jet boil, got a coffee cup, um, got uh, a air mattress, not the same one I used a couple nights ago, but it's a little bit lighter one to carry in the backpack. It's still a, a really good quality one. And I've got my cot, low profile cot that easily fits inside of that dome tent that I had. But we don't have a dome tent tonight. So we are sleeping under this rock. This rock's our tent. And I got my camp pillow, fuel can for the jet boil, and I got this sleeping bag. Uh, haven't used it yet. I bought this last fall. I was going to use it for elk hunting, and I never did. And I'll explain to you why once I get it out of the sack. I'll show you. You know, I wanted <laughs> I wanted to mention at some point I'm going to go over more of this as well, but. Through the years that I've been camping and hunting and up on the mountain camping, hunting, there's been some staples that I've always had. Uh, you saw the little red lantern uh, last video, and I was actually going to pack it up here, um, but uh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to end up breaking the globe, but uh, that's a staple. This is a staple, this old Cabela's wool, not even merino wool, it's the itchy kind of wool sweater I bought this years ago I don't even know probably 12 to 15 years ago and it goes with me on every hunting trip every ATV trip um, it's just a really good durable warm perfect sweater so that's one of my staples and I have a few other staples that we're going to be sharing in more videos to come so here's that here's the sleeping bag I was talking about <clears throat> It's a, uh, what's the brand on this? It is a Nemo Forte Men's 20 degree bag. And it's not down, but it's Permaloft, which is supposed to be a really good synthetic material. It feel, almost feels like down. The reason I didn't like it that much is because it was kind of a mummy style. And I really don't like mummy style bags because I like to be able to roll from my back to my side 
without taking the sleeping bag with me, just inside the sleeping bag. And I can't do that well in a mummy bag, but um, this one is certainly a little less mummy than some of them, but it's still, it's a little bit. But um, we're gonna try it tonight. I almost sent it back, but I thought, well, maybe I could use it for backpacking and Not a bad view from tonight's bed. Let's go down the trail a little bit around the corner here. See what we can see. Looks like we got a couple inches of snow already. I don't know if <clears throat> how many of you ever heard of the Bighorn Scenic, Wild and Scenic Mountain Trail Run, but this is the very trail that that ultra marathon was ran on. In June, there's gonna be 1,200 runners running down this trail. And the longest one of the races is a 100 miler, which I attempted last year, and I made it about 80 miles and my quads blew up on me. So I dropped at the 80 mile mark. I did the 50 uh, a few years back and I did the 18 miler, the 30K a couple times. Um, I'll be back though. Humble abode for the evening. About time to start a fire, get some food cooking. All right, we're gonna cook us up some chili mac. Ready Wise Meal is the brand. Do better. Two cups of boiling water, 12 to 15 minutes. I've eaten a lot of the freeze-dried meals and um, I really haven't had a bad one. I like all of them. The only time they're ever really bad is if you undercook them or do something with the cooking process. Um, undercooked noodles, they're never, never fun to eat. 
So, um, yeah, if you make sure you cook it right, well, I think they're all pretty good. I'm not too picky of an eater anyhow. So um, they work just fine for me. They're light, they're easy, so you can pack a lot with you if you need to. So I need two cups of boiling water. Mm, the jet boil pots come with a little measuring dashes and have a good meal for tonight. And we're boiling. Close the lid and set, let it sit for 12 to 15 minutes and we're going to be eating well. All right, time's up. Let's see what we've got here in our Ready Wise Chili Mac. Get it opened up. Well, that looks pretty good. Like it's gonna hit the spot. Mm. Tastes like chili. Chili Mac. Very good. Mm. I think the snow's pretty much stopped right now. Just maybe a little bit of drizzly stuff coming down, but it seems like it may have stopped. It's about 8.30. And uh, with this fire going, underneath this rock. It kind of keeps the heat in here. And it's pretty comfortable actually. And I've been conserving my logs because I don't have that many and they've been lasting quite a while because I don't need a big fire. It's not that cold really. I would say it's probably 30 degrees out right now. I mean, it's not going to get that much colder throughout the night. So we should be just fine. Keep the, I think I have enough logs left. If I keep them conserved the way I have been, I should have enough for the rest of the evening until I go to bed. enjoying the fire here before we hit the sack getting about that time kind of cooled off a little bit a little chilly out but uh i've got uh about three logs left and it's about 10 o'clock and um so it's about time for bed so it's uh the logs lasted about right
Well, good morning. It is about 6 a.m. Sun is coming up. And my nose is cold. It was a pretty calm night last night. The snow stopped and the wind wasn't much of anything. I fared pretty well in the sleeping bag, although my feet feet were getting cold a little bit. Not horrible. Certainly manageable. And I slept more than I thought I slept because 6 o'clock came pretty fast. So all in all, it was a good night. Well, there we go. Got her all packed up. Now we're going to hopefully not slip and slide all the way back down. Yeah. So that was an interesting evening. Got maybe a little colder than I thought it was going to get. I think, uh, I bet it was in the low 20s last night. My feet sure got cold. But everything else seemed to be pretty good. Yeah. We're just going to head back down here. If you um, enjoy this kind of content, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. If you uh, choose not to subscribe, come back and visit every now and then and see what we got going on. And uh, give me a like if you could, please. And if you want, tell a friend about it. Because uh, I sure enjoy doing this, and I'd like to keep doing it. So I would appreciate that. You guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you on the next quick overnight camp.